Funk, unlike a lot of other styles of music, when you're playing rhythm guitar and playing funk guitar, there's a certain guitar part to the song, and we pick a part and we stay on that part because we're creating a groove and a groove that's danceable, a groove that people want to dance to and shake their bodies to. And so if you are playing all sorts of different things and everybody's just sort of making their part up as they go along, it's not necessarily going to lock together. But what really happens in a rhythm section in a funk group is a, a tapestry is built. The drummer plays one thing, the bass player plays another. The guitar player might play a part that fits into a little hole that the bass player doesn't play. The keys might layer in over that. And so every part works and interlocks with another to create the groove that is the music um, or the pocket, right? The groove, it's what feels good. Um, and so in funk, you know, we can do this with 16th note, with single note lines. We can do it with chordal figures. Or any combination of those kind of things. And the other thing that's really great about playing funk guitar is that there are all kinds of articulations. Just like when you're playing blues or rock guitar, right? We have all those things that we can do like bending and slides and hammer-ons and pull-offs. In funk guitar, there's muting, ghost notes, slides, all sorts of things we can do to make these chordal parts expressive. Even though they're just, you know, playing chords and playing rhythm guitar, they can still be somewhat vocal and expressive.